What's up, Subi friends? So, today's the day that we are finally gonna do our Cylinder 4 cooling mod. Yep, let's get started. Fun fact, I have been putting this off for about four months. I know, right? But it was mainly because this one install was gonna take a lot of small little parts that I didn't have and I had to go and purchase. So over the past four months, I've been slowly gathering these things. And if you're doing this too, don't worry, I got you. All the parts that we use today, I have listed down in the comments below. Let's just start off with the Get A Dom tune itself. What's in the bag? You get your Cylinder 4 cooling mod hose. You get this, which screws into the block. Don't ask what it's called, because it doesn't say, and I really don't know. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. You get one T fitting. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty straightforward. And you get four of these cool hose clamps. And you're gonna need a variety of tools, and I'll tell you which ones they are as we're going along, but a quick overview of what they are. Let me show you. You're gonna need some hose clamps. You're gonna need some Permatex, the right stuff, 90 minute gasket maker, or you can go with the 60 minute gasket maker, it's up to you. Some hose cutters, we use that on the AOS install. A no spill funnel kit, that will come in handy, I'll show you why later. Well, I'm going with 3 8 but you can use half inch, but I like 3 8 because it's a lot easier when you're in need for the car. So a 3 8 ratchet, some extensions. I think it's a 12 millimeter socket that we need, possibly a wobbly do and a one inch crow's foot, maybe a one inch socket, some rags, some acetone, because you're gonna need to clean some stuff up, and some super coolant, because I wanna replace the coolant that's in there right now, so. Oh, one more thing, you're gonna need some gloves. All right, let's get this car off the ground, because I'm tired of talking about it. Now you don't really need to take the tire off, but I feel like since it's right here, it'll be a little bit easier. All right, to remove our under tray, all you gotta do is remove some clips and some sockets. Let's go. up in the air, the wheel's off, the under tray is off, all we gotta do is start draining the coolant. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drain it into here, and then we're gonna dump it into a bucket. We're gonna to take that bucket to the auto parts store, and we're gonna dispose of it properly. All right, we're gonna drain the coolant, we're gonna drain it into this screw here, and hopefully it goes into the bucket and not all over me. Also, don't forget to remove the cap from at the top. That way, it will drain a lot faster. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like my grandfather taking a leak, Mike. It's real dumb. First we're doing the wrong side of the hose. We're undoing it from the radiator side. And I should have been doing it from the water pump side. So you got it, we're good, let's move on. Also forgot to mention, hose clamp pliers work really good. Now I was removing the wrong hose. I was removing the hose from the radiator and I should have been removing the hose from the water pump. But once we got that off, everything started flowing out and now all the coolant is drained. We're almost done, almost. We're almost to the almost part. All right, it looks like all the coolant's done draining. So that screw that we took out from the radiator, I'm gonna put that back in its place, and I'm gonna put that hose right back in its place. That way no coolant drains out and leaks all over the floor. I'm gonna take that bucket, and I'm gonna take the other bucket, and I'm gonna put it into the coolant. I'm gonna combine those two buckets right there. Right now, yep. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's get underneath this car and remove that drain plug for the cylinder four mod it's gonna go to. If you don't know where it's at, follow me, I'll show you. Under the car. Under the car, past the calipers, past the Fortunatos, past this thing. Here we got our axle. Go right on up here, right all the way up there. Right up in there. And you can see that this here is the bolt that needs to come out. So what we're gonna do is take our 12 millimeter Allen key socket and we're gonna remove that. Let's do that. Also, itty bitty living space. Just gotta put you, nope, bad angle. Bad angle. There we go, good angle. Safety goggles on, cause you never know. There you go. Now, if we hadn't drained all the coolant, all this coolant would be flowing right out of that port right there. But it wasn't on too tight. It didn't need a breaker bar, but you did need some a good amount of leverage to get it off. But now that it's off, we get a rag and clean up in there. This is why you need the acetone, so we can clear out all that Loctite that we had stuck on there. See my thread's nice and clean. Cool. All right. Head over to the bench and change batteries. All right. Next up, we're gonna take our gasket maker. Now we got the 90 minute gasket maker because, well, we're kind of slow. So I'm just gonna pop the top, put a decent sized ring around the threads, and head back under the car. This pulls out later. But I think it would be a little bit easier if I attach the hose later. Because it has that weird bend in it. So I'm just gonna screw this on. I'm gonna use the one inch socket instead of the crow's foot. And I'm gonna get it good and tight. And it turns out it was a much better idea to use a socket instead of the crow's foot. So we go, we got our nipple on there. That's what I'm calling it, so I don't know what else to call it. Now we just got to get our hose and our clamp on there. Let's do that. Okay, now I know it's early and I don't want to jinx it, but I gotta say, right about now, this install is going really, really well.
That was kind of a pain. But we got it. Look at a different light, because this one's starting to die. Let's just make sure we got it on there. Remember those hose cutters? These right here. Now it's time to grab those, get them into the car, and cut that hose. Oh, that's kind of nerve-wracking. Let's go. Here's our hose that we need to cut into right here. We need to go snip. Push these two the this installation part back. We're gonna tie in right here. Definitely are going to want to trim this a little bit down, like about an inch, so that it lifts up away from our steering rack. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it right about here. Now remember, take your time. Grab a Sharpies, because once it's cut, it's cut. So measure twice, cut once. buddy all right just you laugh my friend all right the main question is do I need to cut it a little bit shorter I mean you're kind of close but if I push you up you'll be less close we could go a little bit more Yes, we could. One more half inch. We'll do a quarter inch to be safe. Oh, that's good. And tighten it. Come on. Get good and tight for me. I'm working it. Put your thing, step it down, and reverse it. Hey, at least it's not the other song, okay? Then I watch me struggle. Hey, watch me nay nay. Oh. All right, awesome. Alex, we gotta do is just gotta pinch this line off before we fill up the coolant. Oh my gosh, let's get under. Back to the bench. Real quick, let me show you some tools that I did use and some tools that I did not use to make this install happen. Follow me to the bit. All right, here's some things that we did use and here's some things that we did not use. We did not end up using our one inch crow's foot, which is too bad because it's shiny and probably would never use it besides this one time. 
we ended up using instead is the one inch one inch socket and which came in handy because it just slid right over and you can just torque it down so this here is a long handle 3 8 ratchet and it totally comes in handy if you don't have a breaker bar however a breaker bar would have came in also came in handy but this way you could just still have the ratchet without having to stop and switch over to the breaker bar also the short regular handle 3 8 we did end up using that as well as some extensions the half inch wrench to for the hose clamps we ended up using those and a bunch of extensions as well as some wobbly doos also the hard part really under there just like i said getting the camera angle for you guys that was just a mission yeah i kind of cheated with this one but i mean hey that worked great just saying um so you can mark if you're going to cut any lines or not so have a sharpies on hand it comes in handy and that is about all i would say that we needed and didn't need but used uh yeah that's it so the permatech is going to take roughly about 90 minutes but i'm going to give it overnight just to be safe tomorrow we're going to come back we're going to fill up the car with coolant we're also going to put in a brand new radiator which is sitting right over there all right my zuby friends thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one why am i pointing that way i don't even know <laughs>